in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and run Code Llama model on Google's Vertex AI. Vertex AI is a machine learning and generative AI managed service from Google Cloud. Before you begin, you need to create a project in your Google Cloud environment. Project is where you do everything in a Google Cloud. So I will suppose that you already have created a project, which is very simple to do. You just need one click and give the name of your project. Then make sure that your project is linked to your billing account or billing project because that is mandatory. Once that's done, there are three steps you need to do. First thing you need to do is to make sure that the AI platform Vertex AI, in other words, is API is enabled and you can enable this with this command in Google Cloud Shell or you can do it in the console. Just search for APIs. Secondly, create a service account with this command. And again, you can go to IAM service in the console of Google Cloud and do it from there. Third thing, you need to bind this service account with your project ID. So replace your project ID here, your service account here in this format and your Vertex AI service. Because we are binding this um, service account in this project so that it could use this service and I'm giving it admin privileges just for the sake of this demo. Okay, once this is out of the way, now we are back to our Vertex AI screen. Also make sure that you have a Google Cloud storage bucket to store some of the artifacts. Cool. Now in order to get started, click on model garden on the left and it should load all the models which are present in Vertex AI at the moment. Now search for Llama here in the text box. Now it will give you all the Llamas it has. So let's select the code Llama, which we are interested in. Click on view details. And there you have it. Now there are two ways you can do it. You can open it in the notebook, which is a codified um, way of doing it. I will show it after we finish this deploying with the click ops in the deploy one. So let me show you the model card here. So this is just telling you all the use cases, documentation, what sort of hardware software, and then the Llama variants it has. So you can read it at your leisure. So let me click on deploy. Now in this deploy one, the first thing you can do is you can select your model. Instead of going with the 34 billion, I'll go with a smaller one, code Lama 7 billion. I'll just get a new model and I will call as code Lama 2. Let's keep the region US central one. You can um, select your own if you want. In advanced option, you can select customer managed key if you want, but I'll just go with the Google manage, click on save. It takes a bit of a time. Okay, that's done and it will go to the next screen. Okay, now just give it any endpoint name. I'll just call it code llama EP endpoint. Keep the location as is, go with the standard one, click on continue. And then this is quite interesting. If you're deploying a heavy workload and you expect a lot of traffic, then you can go with cluster of nodes. But I'm not going with the cluster, I'm just uh, redirecting 100% of traffic to one node, so minimum one, maximum one. Machine type, I'm just going to go with this N1 standard four at the moment. Accelerator type, I'm just going to go with the NVIDIA Tesla four, or maybe V100 because my uh, I don't want to spend too much. Okay, um, maybe I'll go with T4 this time. I'll just keep the accelerator count one and uh, beware this could really get out of the hand very soon uh, in terms of cost. Service account, I already have my service account so I've selected it. You can create your own in the IAM section as I mentioned earlier. I'm not going to go with any logging just for the sake of this demo. You can add another model but I'm not doing it. So continue, I'm not enabling any monitoring. So these are the steps, now click on deploy and it will start deploying. So I have clicked it, let's wait for it to finish deploying. Then you can click on this model registry on the left hand side, click here and it will show you your deployed 
model so as you can see this is my code llama model it has imported and let's wait for it to get deployed takes a bit of a time so you can refresh it from the top so you can see that it has imported now now if you click on online prediction that should show you the status of your model as you can see the, my model is currently being deployed in this region now you need to wait for it to finish our code llama model is active now at his it as it has been deployed successfully now let's try it out in order to try try it out there are various ways let me show you one of them go to model registry where your model was downloaded select your model and then you should be in deploy and test scroll down a bit and this is where you can test your model you need to send a json request and it should be in this format with instances mandatory parameter which should be an array or list and then put your prompt in here and as we are testing the code llama one so i'm asking it to write a python script click on predict it will show you the response in this right hand side also it took me around 30 minutes for this model to llama code llama to model to get deployed on vertex ai okay so you can see that it has generated a response but it's again is a json format and as you can see that it has given us some number after trying out it a bit so you can read it um, and try it out in different ways now let me show you a couple more ways you can access this model so if you look on uh, in the online prediction section here in sample request click here and there are two ways one is through curl or rest api again um, the json which i created you need to pass it in this format set these variables and then it will access uh, you can access it through curl or even through any of the rest api tool you can also do it through python and this is how you can do it through python after setting these variables and i have another video where i have shown how to use vertex ai with python from the google colab and i will drop the link to it in video's description now this is one way of doing it through the deploy let me quickly show you how you can even do it through the notebook on left hand side click on colab enterprise and then there you can have your notebook with code llama and if you don't see it you can create a new one as we saw on the first screen now on the right hand side you can see all the code examples which we use through the click, click ops this section here is needed for google colab module so you just need to run it and then similarly you are specifying your project id region google cloud bucket your um, service account id and then you will set this environment variable initialize vertex ai with google um, google's own a platform the api which we enabled then set some pre-built server serving docker uh, images where it will be running and then some of the common functions which are used in order to uh, get the model and deploy the model through vllm and then you can simply access it through this Vertex AI model garden code llama, where you are specifying which model you are using. In our case, we are using code llama 7 billion instruct HF. And then after model is deployed, uh, downloaded, we, we are printing the model ID. And this code here is deploying this model by using this hardware. Once that's done, all you need to do is to pass on this prompt here. You can specify your own prompt here and it will print out the prediction or the response from the model lastly one of the great thing about this notebook is that it is easier to clean up all of these resources now this is uh, all you need to do is to just click here and it will run and it will give you the endpoint and show you the prediction so in the uh, deploy thing the click ops which we did we need to clean it up in order to avoid the cost so there are two things which you need to do first select here and then you need to delete the model from here um, 
to go inside and then delete from here because I'm going to create few more videos I'm not going to delete it for now and then go to model register and then also you need to click it and delete from here so this is it guys I hope that you enjoyed it if you still have any confusion or questions please ask them in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel Thank you very much.